Hi friends, Kalpana Kalpade here again. Welcome to Kalpana's kitchen. But as you can see, I am not in my kitchen, but I am in my daughter's kitchen today. And I will be showing you a typical Patiyabhagu dish. Uh, it is called Kairi Chakharoni. Now Kairi meaning raw mango. Raw Kairi. And I uh, will be using prawns for that, okay? So the ingredients I have used for this uh, recipe is, I have taken one Kairi, one uh, raw mango. I will peel it, chop it. And then I will add half a teaspoon hing and half a teaspoon of garam masala and uh, one cup water and I will keep it for boiling. Okay. Then uh, your uh, oh, no coconut, uh, fresh coconut I didn't get here. So I use coconut milk. It's a rich and creamy uh, coconut milk. So I have taken one and a half teaspoon, tablespoon uh, that cream and I have added one cup of milk, uh, water. And uh, the same thing I have done here but with less cream just one tablespoon cream and I've taken one and a half tablespoon basin then I've taken fresh prawns now this is your choice like I usually take one prawn for one person but I have five year leftovers so I've taken five then of course salt as per taste and uh, sugar now uh, as kairi is a little sour uh, uh, kind of thing to eat so I, I add sugar and that taste will add to it okay. I've chopped this kairi now I'll be just in one cup of water, I'll be boiling this. And uh, this is the hing and my garam masala. Now I'll let this uh, kairi cook. Okay. See. And when it's, when it's cooked, then I will be adding my uh, thin coconut. Chicken. This is a thick one with more cream and less water. And this is... I told you one and a half teaspoon basin of chicken. So I will just mix this. When the kairi is cooked, I will add this first to the basin. Water is all evaporated and the raw mango is cooked. You can see. Okay. And suppose uh, uh, you have kept less water and you feel that the mango still needs to be cooked. You can add a little more water. Huh? Now this is the coconut milk, the thin coconut milk, which I have added basin in that, one and a half tablespoon, I will add that basin. Okay. That's it. Now you let the uh, basin cook, the gram flour. Once there are some bubbles coming up and you see that the basin is cooked, then you add this thickening. And this color will stay white, okay? There is no red or any other. I don't use any chili powder and all of this. It's all uh, the basin and this is even cooked now. I will add the thick coconut milk I had prepared. And that's it. Now I will add uh, salt as per taste. It come not comfortable. And I will add sugar. Now sugar is as per your uh, taste. Okay. Like I like it sweet. My son-in-law doesn't like more sugar, but I'm still adding two two cups of sugar. Spoons. Uh, two spoons of sugar, that's all right. And here I add the prawns. Now this dish, you have to keep it for a long time before eating. Like if you are, there's a, you know, for dinner, now this I'm preparing for dinner. Now, uh, by dinner it will come so tasty, the prawns uh, and the uh, raw uh, mango, the blend is just yummy. You can see how the prawns has changed color. They have cooked because fish takes very less time to cook. Okay. And I have kept this prawns as we have seen the shells on. And even the, the skosa, we call this skosa, that is the head. That will make it yummy. Okay. If you peel the prawns and add in this, it uh, doesn't serve the purpose. Now this I will, I have prepared in the morning. And I will have this for dinner. Or again, you can have it the next day. I just love this dish. You try this. 
कई दिन से खा लो नहीं एंड लेट मी नो एंड आई एम श्योर यू वन डू एंजॉय दिस डिश बाय